hello guys yes there's daniel here once again and i'm taking you through chapter two of the care study the patient family care study okay now surprisingly chapter two is one of the simplest chapter yeah so that's where you do the analysis of your data so basically here we are going to look at um, information that you've gotten in books and in other um, publications like journals articles and when you get those information you are going to compare it with the treatment or the care that you give to your client so that's basically the analysis of data okay and it's divided into chapters so we have um, um, 2.2 which is comparison of data with standard here you are going to compare the data you have on your client let's say the labs uh -huh, that's the investigations and um, the medications comparing them to what we have in textbooks or what we have in other publications journals or articles yeah so that's what you're going to do so you'll be comparing um, and also you'll be looking at the test that you did for the client so let's say a complete um, blood count was done for the client and any other test maybe an x-ray a CT yes so you don't worry I'll take you through mine so that um, it will be a little easy you be also looking at the courses of um, mr. Um, sorry the causes of um, the condition of your client yeah. so what could actually be the cause of the condition looking at the investigation that it did and the outcome that it came so with finding the causes you have to look at um, the test that they did and the outcome so that you compare it to the literature and you can actually say that oh this was the actual cause okay then the next one is 2.5 which is specific treatment given to your client you know we have the textbook treatment right yes and we have um, treatment that was specific to the client you were in nursing okay so that's where you write it then you have um, complications at 2.6 or possible complications and also the patient health problems so problems and um, so whenever you go to nurse your client maybe your, your client will tell you that oh i am um, i feel hot today i have a headache today so that's your health problems it's just like your care plan the problems the patient problems yes so that's the same um here then you have 2.8 which is um patient and family strength yeah it's just like the patient strength in your care plan so maybe patient complains of um, headache patient is anxious yes then you look for the strength so patients maybe um, can cope um, with nursing orders or patient is willing yeah, to cooperate with nursing interventions which will help minimize the anxiety so these are the basic strengths and at this point if you haven't looked or watch my video on care plan please do so you just search next daniel and you look for care plan and you are good to go and the last part is the nursing diagnosis so you write your diagnosis let's say impaired comfort um acute pain chronic pain related to this related to that then you are good to go so this is basically chapter two and it's one of the easiest chapters just very easy so let's head straight into it let me look for let me look for, for chapter two what i did i'm just going to read or just show you um some basic things and be out of here okay so this is um chapter two and just as i've told you in the previous chapter chapter one when you are looking at a new chapter you tell us something small about that chapter so we are seeing this step in nursing process entails the breakdown of patient i'm coming the breakdown of patient data that was gathered and comparing it to benchmarks okay so comparing it to standards that's what we mean by the benchmarks now analysis sorry analysis aids in identification 
analysis aids in identification so here we are just trying to get um just So we are just um, trying to look at our data and compare it to what we have as standards. Yes, so that's the analysis. So analysis aids in identification of current and potential health issues while utilizing the strength of the patient, the family to provide successful tailored nursing care. Okay. So we are looking at what the process includes and it includes um, comparison of data with standard patient family strength, health problems, and diagnosis of data. Yes. So just as I said, comparison of data with standard. So you are going to look at a test. You're going to look at a test. So here I define a test. A test is a procedure intended to establish quality performance or reliability of something, especially before it is taken into widespread use. So there should be investigation. On the other hand, is the action of making formal inquiry or systematic study. So here we are just trying to distinguish between an investigation and a test. Yeah. And we are comparing data, and the data that we normally compare is the course, um, investigations, treatment, manifestations. Yes. So these are some of the tests. So I said 2.3 is going to deal with um, diagnostic investigations and tests. So the tests that were conducted on my client. So you have these tests. Yes, yours might be different. Okay. And now let's look at um, diagnostic investigations. You do this in a table form. Yes, please remember you do it in a table form. So we have a date. We have the specimen, whether it's blood, whether it's urine. Okay, and if it's an x-ray, the abdomen or the chest, the specific locations. We have the investigation done, maybe HB, um, blood, um, sickness test, x-ray, that's a specific investigation. Okay. Then we have the results, that's the next column. So we're looking at the results that you, um, you obtained, yes. So after the labs, the results that you gained, when it's um, hemoglobin, the unit, etc. Then the normal range, so you write normal range for the male and the female. Normal range, yes. Then we have um, interpretation, so you have to interpret the results that you obtain for your client. Yeah. So with the H, um, hemoglobin estimation, for example, my client had 15.4 which is within normal range so that's interpretation okay then you give remarks so what was done remarks is actually um what did they do what was the intervention so after obtaining a normal hemoglobin level there was no treatment so no treatment was given so you go in that order yes and let's look at um the abdomen the investigation was an x-ray and it revealed a dilated loop of bowel with multiple air fluids. And the normal range, which is the normal thing that you are going to see, is straightened, ascendant, and the and, and transverse colon. Okay, and the features are su suggestive of intestinal obstructions. And the remarks, what was done, or what was the intervention, was emergency laparotomy. I hope you get me now. Yeah. And here, we are looking at the causes of um the client's conditions 2.4 as i've already said previously is um, the causes of the condition so here mr this um condition was caused by hernia considering textbook reasons for intestinal obstructions and interactions with him so considering all what you've read or all information you've gathered on the condition you can actually say that this was the cause or some people are very lucky yeah from in the doctor's notes or yes you are likely to get um the cause of the condition and you just write it okay the next table here is um comparing um the features or the manifestations to the textbook yes so you compare the features so let's say with my condition my condition was intestinal obstruction um 
the manifestations, the clinical manifestations, some of them are vomiting dehydration. So my client vomited just once, you stated dehydration. Was there any dehydration? My clients did not experience dehydration. If your client experiences it, you just write it just as it is okay abdominal distension my uh, my implants okay had um, abdominal distension etc so that's how it goes so here you are just comparing the features or the manifestations or comparing the manifestations to the test book test book okay here we are looking at 2.5 you're looking at specific treatments that was given to your client Okay, so here, under normal circumstances, they will pass an NG tube, and then there was no NG tube for my client, so it's quite specific considering the test book. Okay, emergency laparotomy plus mobile resection and an anastomosis was performed, and this was quite specific to my client. Yeah, so things that were done for your client. Okay. And preoperative treatment, you look at some of the medications that were given to your client because it's specific, it's not a general test thing. So you write the drugs here, postoperative treatments, you write the drugs here. I hope you get me. So these are the specific treatments, specific things that um, were done for your client. Okay. There is another table here, so you are comparing tables. We said during. Um, this chapter that this chapter basically deals with comparing of what happened to standards and we normally compare courses and uh, manifestations investigations i've already talked about that yes and here i'm looking at treatment looking at treatment okay so from test books or from literature we are comparing um the treatments um, the client is supposed to um take analgesics so you state the type of analgesic that was given to the client, antibiotics, you state the type of antibiotic that was given, IV fluids, you state the type of IV fluids that was given to your client. So that's how you go. Okay. And this table here, this table here is the pharmacology, the pharmacology of drugs. So here you list a whole number of drugs that was given to your client. So you tell us the dates that was prescribed. Okay, then the type of drug. So the drug, then the dosage, the dosage. Then the classification of the drug is very important, the classification. And then the desired effects that will be obtained. So for treatment of infections caused by susceptible gram-negative bacteria like Escherichia coli and do not fright when it comes to this part you just need to get the drug and the dosage from um let's say you are using a software in the hospital a limbs or something like that you just get your drugs and google the desired effect yes so here you can just google them the desired effect so when someone takes um ciprofloxacin what is the outcome what should be the effect yes then the actual effects you are going to look at um your client basically you're going to look at your client after giving the drug what happened was it able to treat the infection yes and the side effect here you write the test book side effect and after that you state whether these side effects were noticed in your client so with cipro flugs are seen there is urticaria there is tachycardia hypertension rashes dry mouth dyspepsia but then none was observed in my client i hope you can me. so there will be a list of drugs i had many drugs here and you just go by that order yes you go by that order another section for the drug yes so you can notice that here i um the presentation here is um not portraits it's not portraits yes but rather landscape yeah so these are some of the things that you should notice they're not portraits so this is how it should be but then when you are typing make sure that your tables are in landscape your tables are in landscape yes okay so let's continue 
Okay, so 2.6 is the complications. Here you state the complications that is likely to be observed in a client with that condition. So from literature, the complications that is likely to occur in intestinal obstruction is electrolyte imbalance, kidney failure, intestinal perforation, sepsis, etc. But in my clients, they didn't develop any complication. Okay, patient health problems. Here you state, you write something small about what health problem is. So is there any stress, whether emotional, social, physical, whatever, spiritual, that um, a patient experiences and that keeps them from achieving health standards. So you state some of them. You can choose to um, do it daily. So maybe the first day, this these were the signs. Second day, these were the, um, the problems, sorry. Second day, these were the problems, etc. Or you can choose to write them all together. I hope you get me. So day one, some people write day one, um, the problems they notice in the client. Day two, but then some people also choose to write them all together. So here, since it's a surgery case, I have preoperative and I have postoperative. I hope you get me. Yeah. So you can do it that way. Patient problems. And you know patient problems are what you see objectively or measure objectively. Yes. And what the client also tells you, which is subjective. And you know that because you know how to write a care plan yes and if you don't know how to write a care plan i have a video on a care plan which will be of great help okay the next one the next subsection is um patient and family strength just like the care plan you've written a problem there should be a strength for it i hope you get me so here the problems that you stated here you are going to write the strengths for those problems. You're going to write the strength for those problems. But let me use one as an example. Okay. So patients complain of abdominal pains. Patients complain of abdominal pains. There is a strength here for it. We have patients could express the intensity of the abdominal pain. Yes. So it should be in that order. So the problems you stated should relate or correlate with the strength here just as in the care plan so that that makes this section very easy very easy okay i think the last one is the nursing diagnosis and the nursing diagnosis to correlate with the patient's problems so you are going to write problems um you are going to look at the problems and write your diagnosis so you can see that i have patient complaint of pain and here my first diagnosis is impaired comfort which is abdominal pain related to distension of the bowel with fluid gas as a disease process or bigger me so here when it comes to patient problems strength and diagnosis they are all together or they all relate so you write a problem and you write a strength for that particular problem then you write a diagnosis for that problem okay so this has been um nurse daniel and i've taken you through the second chapter with the family care